What's up, YouTube? Ryan here with White Trash Vapes. I just wanted to make a little video about kind of battery safety, I guess, and a little rant about a few other things. But, um, yeah, everybody, pretty much, I'm, I'm not going to say everybody, but a, lot, a big majority of us has got devices that have removable 18650s. And I know I've seen, I know couple guys that um well before I talked to them and made them buy a few cases for their extra batteries they would just throw them in their pockets with their chains and keys and very lucky one of them didn't be it very very lucky very lucky but um I talked them into buying these little cases like this and I have three of them got two of them in me right now with a few batteries in them but um other one somewhere these little cases right here I got it at my local vape shop I would think any local vape shop any vape shop at all should carry these I mean you should have no problem finding these um, that or you can search on Google I'm sure you can get them on offline cheaper than what I paid for this paid like 250 for it or something two dollars sure you can get it online for like a dollar or something like that I don't know Anyways, just search them up. Cases for 18650 batteries. They have a lid on it, little lock thing here, little clamp. You just pop it up, open it up, get your new batteries out, take your dead batteries out of your device, put your new batteries in your device, put your old batteries or dead batteries in the case. Like I do, I throw it in, in my little pouch in my lunchbox whenever I leave out in the morning. And if my device just so happens to go dead while I'm at work, which usually it don't, but I always like to have an extra set of batteries with me just in case. Because I'm sorry, but I vape for the nicotine and my job does stress me out a little bit. So uh, I need something to calm my nerves a little bit. I get a little, a little shaky there. But I just want to post to this just just put a little bit of advice and stuff out here in the vaping community because we got a, enough negativity going on with the vaping community and it's sad because I love vaping I've smoked since I was young young under the legal limit but that's a whole story I'm not getting into that but um, anyways started vaping around about a year ago and whenever I first started vaping I was still smoking cigarettes a little bit and but here lately about the past four months I haven't had a cigarette I've been vaping 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 and I do feel a little better and I, I can say that I, I do feel a little better at least I don't stink of cigarettes and had a nasty ashtrays around my house. That's one thing I could not stand about smoking was the ashtrays. But I smoked anyway. Um, it's very addicting. Very, very addicting. But anyways, now I vape, so it is what it is. Another thing I wanted to talk about was whenever I go into a store or Walmart, restaurant, da 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 if the place don't allow smoking cigarettes, pretty much that's everywhere. If it don't allow smoking cigarettes, people don't vape in the store or restaurant or wherever. Just don't do it. It makes it look bad on all of us. Just simply do not, if, it, if they don't allow smoking cigarettes, don't vape. I mean, it's freaking ridiculous walking to Walmart or something and you see a guy, oh, I'm cool, I'm walking around Walmart the whole house. No, you're not. You look like a fucking dickhead and you're making it look bad on all of us. That's just how I feel. Uh, I know I said a few swear words, but I'm sorry. But anyways, that's just how I feel. It makes me mad whenever I go into somewhere and I see people vaping whenever they shouldn't be. That's just more negative attention on us that we do not need. We don't need it at all. No. But anyways, you can't make you can't make people not do something just because you don't agree with it, but 
Yeah, I don't agree with that at all. But um, it is what it is. Hopefully, everybody will kind of get some maturity and not do that. I hope, but because I would love for vaping to stay around. It's made me feel better. Made me feel better about myself. Now at least I don't stink of cigarettes and everything else. It makes me feel better. I don't know about everybody else out there, but it does make me feel better. I love it. I'm, I just, I love it. But I just hate going into somewhere and people walking around vaping and stuff like, like that's cool or something. We're not, I don't do this to be cool. I do this because it helped me quit smoking. That's why I do it. But everybody has their own reasons of doing it and I'm not knocking them for that but just please don't vape in stores and restaurants where they don't allow smoking that's all I ask and that should that should be common sense to everybody but everybody I'm gonna get off here I'm kind of random a little bit I know but it just makes me mad going into places and seeing that happening I just can't stand it but everybody just vape on and vape safe. If you carry your extra batteries with you, make sure they're in a case like this. Or any type of battery case. Or they have little rubber, they call them battery condoms, I believe. But they're little rubber and you just slip your battery in the little rubber. And that way, if you do put it in your pocket, your keys and chains and everything ain't hitting the terminals or whatever you want to call it. Whatever, I'm not going to technical technical person but whatever you want to call it and keeps it from venting in your pocket and blowing up and hurting yourself very bad or hurting other people just everybody use your brains just use your brains use common sense it's not that hard just and everybody let's try to keep vaping around let's just let's I mean we have the right to vape I feel like we have the right to vape I mean but it is what it is. I'm going to get off here. I, just everybody vape on and vape safe.